My name is Lisa Birkett, um, and I'm a graduate from the Fine Arts Department here at University of Waterloo. Um, I was in the MFA program, which is a Master's of Fine Arts program. I started in 2011 and graduated in 2013. Um, and I'm currently a sessional faculty in fine arts. Um, I teach a fine 100 class, which is foundational studies for first year students. Um, my background is in painting. I'm a graduate from the Emily Carr um, University, then the Emily Carr Institute um, from um, 1999, which seems like ages ago. I spent 12 years in Vancouver working in the field of painting, creating exhibitions that combined paintings with, um, with sculpture. Um, some themes that I was looking at was how technology affects our communication. So, for example, um, looking at how we structure the, in, uh, the internet and how images are overlaid on the internet um, in multiple panels. So what I would do is translate that idea of organizing images onto the canvases in these kind of, in, in these multiple layers. Um, I also looked at biological manipulation and um, pop culture, etc. These, these kind of investigations led me to try to bring movement into the paintings. So I overlaid the paintings with animation stills. Um, I had moving images or narratives moving through the paintings, um, etc. I was starting to become frustrated with the staticness of paint as a material. Um, and I was really interested in this idea of the passage of time. Some of the experiments that I was doing um, was attempting to bring movement into the paintings um, through animation and projection. So I had um, my paintings in the studio, um, either on the floor or on the wall, and I would paint on transparent um, sheets of plastic um, and then either cut out or keep the sheets of plastic. And just like traditional animation techniques, I would be moving um, these images either through the painting and in various stages of, of movement. So the figure or um, object that I had, would um, there would be a series of them. I would place them into the painting, photograph them, and then I would take those photographs um, and animate them um, on the computer. Um, using a combination of both um, Photoshop and, at the time, I was using Final Cut Pro. After I completed the traditional slash digital animation, I would take a projector and then project the animated painting back onto the painting. So um, I, I, I noticed quite quickly um, that I had to manipulate colors and work with colors and also work with um, placing the animation in a place in the painting where you could actually see it. So the movement had to be in a place in the painting where there was white or nothing else moving on, otherwise you wouldn't see it. Um, while I was projecting, I started to see that a funny thing was happening. Projecting the same image into an image, you get this, they don't line up perfectly, so you get this little visual flicker, visual illusion. And I realized that it started to look a little bit three-dimensional. So I started to incorporate the idea of using analog 3D. So I, was, I had both the red and blue, the cyan and the magenta glasses, um, as well as what's called chroma depth um, glasses, which break, breaks up the color spectrum. So everything that's um, a red, um, of a red color moves forward, and then you've got the greens and the yellows in the middle, and everything that is, um, is blue moves into the background. So I started to paint according to that color spectrum. So with the glasses on, the paintings appear to break that um, 2D um, surface and move into the third dimension. Um, then with the glasses on and the movement with the um, animation projected back into the painting, you get this very kind of odd um, breaking apart but also flattening again of these different, um, different levels in the, in the painting.